Yo, what is that? So, we are looking at Wuthering Waves on the 97 XT. Uh, it's locked at 120 FPS, so that is the highest you can go. But there is something I noticed, which is, uh, it confused me. So, we don't actually need that on. But So, I've loaded this up already on the 4090. And I did notice there was ray tracing on there, on the NVIDIA, but... There is literally nothing on the, the 97 XT. So I found that a bit confusing. So I had a look up online. And this is actually FSR 2 in the game. Uh, so there's not even FSR 3 in it. So I found that a bit confusing. So, And another thing I saw is uh, if I tried to use OptiScaler, someone did get a message saying uh, they could possibly get a burn. So if we come out of this, so I mean it's running really well. So that and uh, I'm not sure why the 97 XT doesn't have an RT option, but I did look at it and then so there is a something I found. Apparently they were supposed to re release this in version 2.3, but we're up to 2.5 now on this game. So I don't know if there's been some sort of delay, but so it looks like I've done that because before NVIDIA had that 120 FPS but AMD didn't so I've done a bit of research so it was locked at 60 now so we have got 120 FPS but there is still no ray tracing option for AMD I mean if the 97 XT can't run ray tracing I don't know what it's the best GPU out of AMD for ray tracing so if any AMD model is going to get it. Uh, I would have thought the 97 XC would get it, the 9070. Uh, I mean, I can't, I mean, it's running, it's not a demanding game, so I, I can't see why, especially, uh, I mean, the 7000 series would be able to run it, uh, although it would be worse, but he runs pretty well. Uh, and it's just weird uh, FSR2 is in the game, I mean, this is AMD's official support, so I did double check. This is FSR 2, all the games that have got that. And this is one of them. So I found that a bit odd. And it's not like it's an old game that's... I think it came out a month ago, a few months ago, was it? Uh, so I found that a bit odd, but... So there is a possibility that I could get banned if I try and use OptiScale. Someone's had this... Uh, but then people have done it. Um, so it's a bit risky, but I thought I'll just take one for the team, I'll do it, because I have actually got two accounts, because you, if you install it on Epic Game Store, you can register another account, and I've got a different account on Steam. So I'm just using my Steam account, and now I'm using my Google account for this one, so... I'm at a stage now where I think, well, it should have it anyway. So if I get banned for that, then whatever. So I will actually attempt it. Because uh, a lot of people like this game and they want to know if, what the risks are and if you do get banned. So I'm going to copy that. And the other thing I was thinking is, uh, sure, I think once you enable DLSS... I think the ray tracing options will come up because it basically fools the, the game to think it's an NVIDIA GPU. So I think it is in this part, yeah, shipping file. I, I can't say I'm surprised it's only got FSR2 to be honest, but whatever. So DLSS. I mean, there there is no logical reason for me for it to not at least have F star three after all this time and uh, ray trace to lock people out of ray tracing. Uh, I think it's just anti consumer as I've said in the past. Any anyone who disagrees must hate AMD. They must really hate AMD. I think if uh, you think it's right, it's not correct. Developers when they're developing the game, they have the toolkit. They literally have the toolkit in Unreal Engine 
to uh, give you XESS, FSR, DLSS, it's not difficult. It's, it's just very weird. Uh, well, it's not totally weird because it feels like NVIDIA are doing it on purpose, but um, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, focus on what we're doing. So I've installed that. Um, so I did read that uh, you can can actually install the DLSS frame gen, but I won't do that just yet. I just want to see if I can get ray tracing up. So that will load it up, see what happens. See if I get a message, but um, again, it's not like I'm cheating. I mean, it's their own fault for not updating it to what it should be. There is no excuse to not ever at least FSR free in the game. I don't think. Right, so it's definitely installed it, as you see, bottom left. So I can get that up. So it's not actually giving me a message. Right, so I've decided to save with a man now instead of a female because this is a different account, as I said. So I did do a video the other day on this, I did quite enjoy it. Alright, so, so as it took it off, I don't know, I have to double check the settings now. So what's it actually done? So we have got so we got DLSS on, but for some reason it wasn't showing it in that. Ah, oh, so we have see so we've got the ray tracing options there. All right. So that that is what I wanted to get that up. That so literally weren't coming up. Let's do quality for now. So you, you do have to restart the game. So maybe I've I did read you know, literally need to put them in fake Mbappé files in. So exit. So I will. I mean, I d didn't really want to change too much, but we'll see. The thing is, with this game, I don't think it comes up with different upscaling options. So I'm not sure if it's gonna show XESS instead of DLSS. Probably not going up because it's doing the shaders. Oh no, it's coming up. Yeah, so it usually it obviously gives you the option. A bit of a start of that. So I'm not even sure if the upscale is on. So well, that is a improvement anyway. So we got all that. Oh, that's interesting. I 
I think I might need to install that. Because some games are actually funny with that. Adam Wake was one where it would literally crash if it didn't install the fake Mbappé. So we'll have a look at that. That could be the final piece of the jigsaw. So that would be... In there. So, so all you got to do is... Uh, so this file here... So you've literally got to paste that and that. Into here. Same with this fault, this fake and buffy fault. So that needs to go in there, so it basically works together. So, so a bit of mucking about, but that is the main thing to, to at least get the ray tracing up. That is an improvement. I'll, I'll just, it annoys me when uh, they totally lock you out of a feature just because uh, they're sort of biased towards NVIDIA right. so we've put that on now I've got to restart again this is probably one of the first games uh, well, I've literally seen Upscale not giving you that uh, FSR 3.x, even though it's on the OSS. So that's a bit weird. Alright, so that's definitely on. So, all we would need to do. But it's not showing Upscale. So, that is a confusing thing. So you put that on. Yeah, I mean it should be more than that, so I don't think that is working by the looks of it. So I'm not sure what the next move is. I mean, is let's have a look at the ray tracing. See if that is actually working. You'll see by the actual uh, FPS if that literally goes up a bit. So if we take global illumination off. Uh, uh. Yeah, well, that has actually gone up, so that must be working. The ray tracing. So I'm not sure exactly uh, what upscale is using, that's the funny thing. Because it can't be using DLSS because uh, it's obviously not supported by AMD. Although it does actually look better than it did, so I don't know if it's uh, using native, possibly. I don't know. The thing is, if I installed it using FSR, would it work that way? I might as well try it. Oh, 
so I'll just remove it and I'll just install it using FSI instead, see what happens. Maybe XESS uh, gets, I don't know, wouldn't surprise me if they've got support. Maybe that could be the way. So two that time. But the thing is there is, as I said, there is no FSR 3 in the game at all. So I'm not even sure if this is going to work because uh you usually have to overwrite the OSS, but worst case scenario, it runs all right, and then you you're not using FSR. I, f I think it could be native because I'm pretty sure that the OSS isn't working for AMD. I think it could be native, and then uh, you get the ray tracing options as a bonus, which is pretty good to be fair. I mean, it's, I think that is uh, that could be the best way to go with it. There's only a couple of games that worked going from FSR 2.1 or whatever. Callisto seemed to work upgrading to FSR 4, but a couple of them I had some issues with. So, yeah, as I expected, this not working. But that, so it's probably just going to, in this. Now I've done it this way, it would just put it on FSR, yeah, and now there will be no ray tracing options, see? So, that's why I've done it with the OSS first. So, I'm not sure, I don't know, I'd have to look into it. I'll do another video if I figure it out, but at least you can get ray tracing up, which is what I wanted. Uh, as far as FSR 4 goes, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's it for now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.